My name's Richard Fijo and I'm a deadly Larrakia man from Darwin. I'm also Wurramungu on my mother's side, which is Tennant Creek area. So I have connections to saltwater and desert country. Now, in my belief, we believe in the dream time. And in the dream time, there were lots of mystical animals and rainbow serpent that came and created the lands for us. And so today, we carry this on because this is our creation stories. We're always surrounded by spirits. We're surrounded by spirits of our ancestors, you know, of my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, and all the Larrakia spirits are always around us. And these are spirits that support us. But sometimes we go to places where there's not so good spirits and these spirits can mean danger to us and so we are afraid of these spirits and we take off and we get all kinds of warnings from birds and animals and all kinds of stuff because we have what is called connection to country and connection to country is uh, the second stage of understanding our spirituality because in our spirituality we're connected to our land through the kin system and for an example, I'm a Jaffaljari from the desert, that's my skin name, but I'm also Balang from saltwater country, and that's also my skin name, but they're just different regions, and it means the same thing, it's just a different word. But to give you an idea about our spirituality, when we're talking about mental health, um, we also talk about Balang as my skin name, it also inter it interconnects with a system of the kin system, which is called Dua and Yiricha. Now, I like to think of Dua and Yiricha like yin and yang, black and white. It brings balance to our world. And it, it means that on one hand, Yiricha and Dua is like that. Dua is often dark, Yiricha is often light. And we call it day, night, one, two, morning, sunset, all kinds of things. And in different languages, they mean different things. But in essence, it's like um, yin and yang. And so we think about this now. My skin name, Balang, is Dua, so that's a dark-sided thing. But there are also animals like, um, for example, the Dugong, that is also classified in Aboriginal culture as Dua. There are also plants like the stringy bark that is also classified as Dua. And so what that means is that that tree, the stringy bark, or that animal, the Dugong, is the same importance as me. We are interrelated and there's, this is our connection to country. This is how we connect to country because everything that is there, we have a relationship. In essence, we're a part of everything and everything is a part of us. And so we need to understand that spiritually because when we come to talk about mental health, well, we have a different worldview and we have a different worldview approach on how we how problems arise and how we resolve problems. And so when you look through, that, look through the Aboriginal lens, we have, have a totally different approach because we have a different system. Now, if we look at Western medicine, that also has a different system. And that system is based on science, but not everything over 200 years ago was based on science because our science was our environment. Everything, our explanation of the world and how we came to be was based, goes back to the dream time and the stories that we tell and our interconnectivity to land, our medicine, our healing, our food sources, our tools, all made of wood and all natural products. And today we don't have that. Today we have dominoes and we have things and sugar, all kinds of bad things that we're not used to having. So it makes us sick, it makes us unwell and it impacts on our spirits and it makes us not healthy. But then, at the same time, when we talk about mental health problems, we also talk about this taking in the mind, one, that our ancestors are always around us and they're always talking to us and we're always talking back to them. Two, we are connected to the land, we're connected to the trees, we're connected to the animals. And in essence, when we see a bird flying around that might be a totem for me, I feel lucky and I talk to that animal. And in return, I might catch fish if I'm fishing that day. And that's the way that animal talks back to me. So when we see, when we go fishing or hunting, we go, come on old people, let's catch some food. I need to feed my family, help me out. And the spirits come to our aid and we take home food and it's about uh, sustainability but it's all about survival you know 
But when we look at Western medicine approach to the way Aboriginal people talk about things like that, well, they diagnose us differently. And it doesn't mean that we're mentally unwell. It means that we can be connecting with the essence of who we are. And that's important to remember. My advice to doctors, sit down, let them tell you their story. Let them tell you their history and be eager to listen because that's a really big thing. If you can not do that, but you can do that and just listen, what your patient's saying to you, you're gonna get a lot further and you're gonna learn much faster about who that patient is, where they're from, their beliefs and everything. Embrace it and let it embrace you. Thank you.